You know, I'm so fed up with people always covering up their mistakes with what would the people say phrase and poking their noses in other people's affairs. How can you say they cover up mistakes? They might be right. Most of the time, they are not. And I can give you examples. What? How can you send a liar to the university? What would the people say about you sending your daughter to university? Why should I think about what people would say? I am sending her to gain knowledge. One hadith says, narrated by Anas ibn Malik, who said, The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, said, Seeking knowledge is obligatory upon every Muslim. Sahih Sunan Ibn Majah. Baba, I think this proposal is really good for my sister. He has promised to take good care of her daughter, too. Brother, what would the people say? Trying to marry off a widow daughter, and that too, with a man of different nationality from ours. It is better to please Allah than people. Marrying off widows has been highly recommended in Islam. As far as different nationality is concerned, haven't you heard this ayah? O oh, mankind, indeed we have created you from male and female and made you people and tribes that you may know one another. Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Indeed, Allah is knowing and acquainted. Chapter 49, verse 13. Why are you doing women's chores? What if someone saw you? What would the people say? Mom, our prophet, blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, often helped with household chores. And besides, helping with your wife has been much appreciated. Hadith, it was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the prophet said, the best of you is the one who is best to his wife, and I am the best of you to my wives. Sunan Ibn Majah Aliyah, it is all your mistake. You should apologize to Omar. You are blaming your own daughter, brother. What would the people say? At least you should take her side. Take her side and call upon the wrath of Allah? Haven't you heard? Abdallah ibn Abi al Alfa narrated that the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, said, Indeed, Allah is with the judge as long as he is not unjust. So when he is unjust, he leaves him, and he is attended by Satan. Jami at Timidi. Do you need anything else, mother-in-law? No, thank you. Omar has started taking Aaliyah very seriously. This could mean trouble for you. Tell him that she does not respect you, doesn't treat you well. What would the people say if she sidelined you? Why would she sideline me? Islam has given proper place to mother and proper place to wife. She looks after me well and respects me. Haven't you heard of this hadith? It was narrated that Jabir 
may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Iblis places his throne over the water, then he sends out his troops, and the one who is closest in status to him is the one who causes the greatest amount of fitna, tribulation or temptation. One of them comes and says, I have done such and such, and he says, you have not done anything. Then one of them comes and says, I did not leave him until I separated him and his wife. Then he draws him close to him and says, How good you are. Narrated by Muslim. Yes, you're right. I wonder why people take the word of other fellow beings so seriously, when they know it is against the word of Allah and his prophet. Blessings and peace of Allah be upon him. We should not, because Allah says in Quran, and you feared the people, while Allah has more right that you fear him. Chapter 33, verse 37. Pleasing Allah and being just should be our priority. Yes, you are so right. I should be leaving now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and his blessings.